Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the life of God in the Word. In uh, Proverbs chapter 4, starting in verse 20, uh, Solomon writes, he says, My child, pay attention to what I say. Listen carefully to my words. Don't lose sight of them. Let them penetrate deep into your heart, for they bring life to those who find them and healing to their whole body. And Jesus, over in uh, Luke chapter 4, he said, uh, he's talking to the devil, and the devil is tempting him out in the wilderness. <clears throat> and he said, uh, that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And so, as we see in uh, various stories throughout the Bible, the life of God and the presence of God and victory was released when they, not when they did something that they did in the, the past. Your past experiences are good because there's something to rely to because you know that God is faithful. But not only that, uh, don't just rely on your past experiences like, well, this worked in the past, this is what I have to do now. No, because the life of God is not released in instruction. As we see here in the Word, it is released in His voice. That Jesus said that man shall live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. One time I just got done paying, playing paintball with my youth. This was a couple years ago, and uh, we had came home. And I've never had a headache ever, but I had this really th bad throbbing pain. I was like, in Jesus' name, I command you to go. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, uh, take an Advil. I was like, Advil? I was like, I don't get headaches. <clears throat> I, like, it wasn't a headache. It was just, I don't know what the deal was. I had a headache one time. I was like, in Jesus' name, go, and it was gone. That was it. I guess it was a headache. But, uh, and so I go, and I grab the aspirin, and I put it in my mouth. And right when it t gets in my mouth, the pain was gone. And they spoke to me in that scripture and said and was showing me that life the life of God is released in the voice. And so when we follow what he speaks to us, to our spirit, he'll it will be based on the word. He will never defy his word, but he will defy sometimes our understanding of his word. And so he will speak, and you when you know it's him, you act. And then life is released into your situation. That's good news. Listen to him and see what he has to say. I love you guys. See you tomorrow.